Hello, my display bees, and welcome to another game of trivia. Ah, <sighs> we're here. Take a deep breath. Relax. You made it. Get rid of that stress from the workday and get ready to win some money, honey. All right, so here's how it's going to work. As you can see, we got a wheel. We got various prize amounts on the wheel. $1,000, $2,500, $5,000, whatever we land on, that's going to be yours. If you answer the questions, of course. TBD on that. In the meantime, let's find out what we're playing for. <laughs> We're playing for $1,000. And yes, I firmly believe if I do move my body like this and make weird noises, it stands a better chance to land on $5,000. But for today, for today, it's $1,000. And here's how to get it. You're going to have 10 questions pop up on your screen. 10 seconds to answer all, all 10 seconds to answer each one. If you get them all right, then you win a piece of that prize. Sometimes I gotta slow down. I asked you to slow down, I gotta slow down. We'll be right back after this quick break. Welcome to Display Tips. Let's get introduced to Profile. Tap the profile on bottom right of screen. Here, you can personalize your display experience. Tap the pencil icon to edit your profile picture, cover photo, basic user info including contact, and link to your other social media accounts. Select your preferred language, identify top friends and family members. You can also create and manage your communities here. Watch for more tips on Display TV. Happy Thursday, everyone! It's my favorite day of the week. You get the anticipation of the weekend, knowing Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are just around the corner, but they haven't happened yet. So you don't have that nervous dread yet of going back to work. You have plenty of time to make plans and break them. You still haven't even gotten this week's paycheck that you're then gonna spend on overpriced cocktails and fancy tapas. Speaking of a payday, tonight's pot is $1,000. And here's how to get it. 10 questions will appear on your screen. You'll have 10 seconds to pick your answer and choose wisely, because once you tap, there is no going back. If you miss one, you will no longer be eligible for that cash prize, but stay in the game, because you can keep playing along for fun. Shall we do this? We shall, they say. Here it is, question one. Which of the following is not a number? One, two, A. Which of the following is not a number? One, two, A. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Which one of these has got to go? My mother said to pick the very best one, and this one is not it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Red, purple, blue. I choose you. And little Miss Sally sitting on a tree. I got carried away again, didn't I? Ha <laughs> ha, shoot. That's okay. Look, I got my head back in the game, and I'm ready to reveal the right answer. Some A1 players in the game today because y'all called it A is a letter. And yes, you could argue that uh, the letters are the numbers of the alphabet, but is that a hill you want to die on? Please don't die on a hill. Question two. Which of the following websites is not a search engine? Travelocity, Yahoo, Google. Which of the following websites is not a search engine? Travelocity, Yahoo, Google. Engine, engine number nine. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. Your search engines, that is. Oh, for real, you didn't start those yet? My dudes, we're already on Q2. If you're not already fired up, I don't know what to tell you. You gotta come out of the gates in this game, ready to play display trivia and win, because one wrong answer is gonna get you out. In baseball, it's three strikes, but in trivia, you only get one shot to not miss your chance to blow. With opportunity comes once in a lifetime. You better lose yourself. No, don't lose yourselves just yet. We got a whole game to play. Looks like y'all ain't playing though. Question three. This 1972 Elton John song features which reptilian animal? Alligator, lizard, crocodile. This 1972 Elton John song features which reptilian animal? Alligator, lizard, crocodile. 
Reptilian rock is cool, sure. Mm -hmm. But I know some insects that made some pretty good music in their day. Um, hello, the beetles. Also some mammals, the monkeys. And then of course, there's the birds. No specific birds, just the birds. But you know the song because it goes na 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 and it's somehow uh, not more annoying than Rebecca Black's Friday. I don't make the rules, people. I just enforce them. This song by Sir Elton Hercules John is Crocodile Rock. See, you can tell the difference because it's got a longer pointier snout than alligator rock. Question four. Lox is a cured or brined version of what fish? Trout, cod, salmon. Lox is a cured or brined version of what fish? Trout, cod, salmon. Oh baby, pass me a bagel and some cream cheese cause I am loxed and loaded. Who would have thought the fish on a bagel was what we all needed, but turns out it is ex exactly what the doctor ordered. For the dinner plates at his son's bar mitzvah. Well, hi I'm Brendan, you're finally a man. And if you learn how to fish, you'll eat for a lifetime, as the old saying goes. While um, Brendan finishes up his Torah portion, great job, by the way, great job. Uh, this food is often associated with the Jewish community, and that's how you know they are the chosen people. Have any doubts? Well, put some lox on a sesame seed bagel and chow down on that. Lox of salmon, and y'all are casting your nets far and wide tonight. Question five. Which of the following is not a slang term for a member of a 20th century counterculture movement? Hippie, yuppie, beatnik. Which of the following is not a slang term for a member of a 20th century counterculture movement? Hippie, yuppie, beatnik. Counterculture movement. Is that anything like interpretive dance? Look, my friends, you can't tell me it's bad because it's all up to my interpretation. Hello, it's kind of the point. Wait, no, that is exactly the point. And be careful not to poke yourself on that point because it's sharp. Funnily enough, a good rule of thumb for identifying countercultures is, do they dance around a lot in funny ways, along with generally sticking it to the system? The beatniks and hippies, check these boxes. Yuppies are probably still yelling into their car phones and bopping around to Devo. Whip it good, it's question six. Select the word in Spanish that represents the daughter of your tia. Hermana, prima, sobrina. Select the word in Spanish that represents the daughter of your tia. Hermana, prima, sobrina. Keeping it all in the familia today with this question. And it would serve you well to aprender a little bit of Spanish. Just un poquito. Aprender is to learn, which is what you should probably do with Spanish because it's the second most widely spoken language in the world. So really, you're just increasing the odds of meeting your next best friend. Hola, amigos. Look, we're only on Q6, so we're not quite ready to fiesta just yet, but get those claves ready. In Spanish, tia is aunt and the daughter of your aunt is your cousin, a.k.a. your prima. If you got it right, you're in a primo position to head into question seven. Who was the first artist to win a VMA for a video released on TikTok? Lil Nas X, Lizzo, Cardi B. Who was the first artist to win a VMA for a video released on TikTok? Lil Nas X, Lizzo, Cardi B. VMA, for those of you who don't know, stands for Video Music Award, and it's hosted by MTV, which stands for Music Television. TikTok is an acronym that means if you haven't heard of TikTok, you're probably not watching the Video Music Awards on MTV because it's past your bedtime. But you want your MTV. You want it and you're gonna have it, damn it. This award was given out for the first time this year and the win is still fresh. Did you get it wrong? Ah, truth hurts. Yes, the rumors are true. Lizzo was the winner for her rumors music video. Question eight. Come live with me and be my love is the opening line of a poem by what author? Christopher Marlowe, John Keats, William Shakespeare. Come live with me and be my love is the opening line of a poem by what author? Christopher Marlowe, John Keats, William Shakespeare. Come live with me and be my love and we will all the pleasures prove is the whole first line. And I'm just like, okay, <laughs> you don't gotta tell me twice. Um, can I have a few minutes to freshen up? Okay, so like while I do that, call the Uber. Yeah, let's go 
improve those pleasures. Put me in, coach. I have never been more ready. This poll was like an OG TI saying, we can pop bottles all night, babe, and you can have whatever you like. Yeah. Poems were baby making music before there was baby making music. So Christopher Marlowe knew how to use his powers of seduction in the passionate shepherd to his love. Say less, shepherd. Is that a staff in your hand or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> Question nine. Which of the following countries is not part of a peninsula? Tanzania, Cambodia, Oman. Which of the following countries is not part of a peninsula? Tanzania, Cambodia, Oman. A peninsula is basically a piece of land that really just wants to dip its toe in the water. It's almost an island. It's just not ready to fully take the plunge, you know? Like, why put a label on things, babe? If we know what we are, then why do we need to prove it to other people? Um, so we can locate it on a map? Oh, okay, yeah, fair, yeah. Hey, maybe your situationship doesn't want to put labels on it, but when it comes to maps, yeah, labels are best. Peninsulas are juts of land surrounded by water on three out of four sides, and Tanzania is the only country here not located on the Indo-Chinese or Arabian peninsulas, respectively. It's time for the final question of the night. Question 10. The precious stone that begins as a nacre serves what primary function to the organism that creates it? Reproduction, nutrition, self-defense. The precious stone that begins as a nacre serves what primary function to the organism that creates it? Reproduction, nutrition, self-defense. Look, there's no shame in being a newbie. You gotta start somewhere. All these precious stones? Well, they start out as a naker. Naker, naker, eggs and baker. Do you maybe have a tiny naker of an idea as to what this might be? Without giving too much away, these precious stones are not really that at all. No, they come from inside a living being and are harvested usually from these aquatic creatures. Have you figured it out yet? Come on, the world is your oyster. A pearl is the oyster's defense to any irritants that get inside and are potentially harmful. It coats them with a mucus that over time becomes a pearl. I mean, is that a perfect metaphor for hardship or what? And look at all of you coming out on top. You took very difficult questions and you turned them into cash. You came, you slayed, you displayed your knowledge and you got paid. <sighs> we'll see you tomorrow for round number 127. Don't quote me on that number, but it does. It feels right. It feels right. Actually, we should play that game where we try to guess how many M&Ms are in the jar, except it's display trivia games. Or, you know, we could just come back and play trivia tomorrow. So let's do that. Study up, displayers. I'll see you tomorrow on display.